to my channel, it's your girl Kita Capiche, aka Nikita Shanae, aka Vampiro Sister. We're back with another spacey video. So today we are doing hair. Quick disclaimer, I am not a hairstylist. I'm just doing hairstyles that I can do because I barely can do hair as it is. Um, these are styles that work for me. Hopefully these work for you. Um, if you clicked on this video, obviously you're looking for something cute, quick, easy. Like, t period. I'll okay, get this high knot, top bun, sleek, with the curls hanging, okay? For this style, you will need some type of hair. I say curly hair, this is synthetic. I got this from the beauty supply store. I'm pretty sure this is the hair that's in the pack that's right behind the cashier that's hanging up on the wall, okay? I don't pay no more than $35, $40. So if I'm paying $40, I better have four curly, nice, long packs of hair. I get that hair just because I know I like to do a lot of um, buns and like ponytails and things like that and that hair works the best. I don't wanna go spending a lot of money on like some bundles that I'm just about to be messing up and stuff, you know? So it's good to just keep a bunch of just hair laying around. I say curly hair because my hair is curly. If you have more of a straighter like hair, like when you brush it back, it's straighter, then go ahead and go with some like straight hair. But the thing is, I don't know about the curls. Like you can always use a wand curler or curling uh, to make it, but if you have synthetic hair like this is, I don't know if it can even take heat. I don't even know, I don't even wanna try. I don't even own one of those curlers. Like I need to get one. So I hope you guys really enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment. Um, um, I'm gonna be dropping videos for y'all every week, okay? So stay tuned. If you want me to post more hair videos, I could do that for you too. Um, I just wanna say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the ones that's been riding with me. Shout out to Eternal Return Design for this top. Let's just get into it. They actually made me this whole custom outfit. This is from Chem Gem World. So this is just the top. I might as well kind of show y'all the whole outfit. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my Gengar headband and then take out this clip. So my hair is curly. I suggest you brush out your hair. It just gives you more of that sleek style, but it's totally up to you. I was just being lazy. I'm gonna now take my spray bottle, and I love this spray bottle. It's the one that kind of mists. And you wanna get your hair damp, so not too wet, um, just because I feel like product doesn't adhere to the hair um, when it's super wet. So I just got it a little bit damp. And then I'm gonna take my favorite product, you guys. You know I use it for everything. Oh, I'm gonna put my hair in just like a little messy bun. Doesn't matter, we're just getting the mold together. But yes, Eco Style, the olive oil, I love this product. I feel like not only does it keep your hair in place, but it doesn't make it like too hard and stiff. Like I like my hair to just have some texture and kind of be able to move, but still like staying in place, if that makes sense. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and apply this all around the head and I'm taking a hard bristle brush, oh, hard bristle brush now and just going around my head and just kind of smoothing it down. We're gonna take some more, we're gonna get the back because we cannot forget the kitchen sis. We just can't do it. And again, just taking that hard bristle brush and brushing everything up, smoothing it down. So now that we, we're starting to get our mold, we're gonna go ahead and take that ponytail out. And then I'm just gonna take my um, brush again, just to brush any flyaways and just kind of smooth it down a little bit more. And it doesn't have to be super smooth because this is not the final ponytail, um, but you know, the smoother the better. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Style Factor um, Edge Booster. And I do like this product. Um, it does smell pretty good. This is the watermelon, I believe. Um, and I just take it and I swipe this. I do a swipe and a push in motion, I guess. I don't know. Swipe the product and swipe your head. And I put this all around my hair. As you guys can see, I did it about two times. And then this is tea. You want to take a soft bristle brush and then go ahead and just smooth everywhere that you put the product in. So I feel like the soft bristle brush kind of helps the product like get in your hair, like penetrate the hair better and not just sit right on top. Oop, waves is, waves is waving. So you want to take two, this is what I do, um, two of the scrunchies and I like to use the ones with no metal because it takes out less of my hair <laughs> I don't want it to take out any and then this is placement so this is where you would want your um, bun if you want it right on the top you know you place it high I wanted mine more towards the middle if you want it low you can do it low too so this is important because this is going to be the final ponytail bun I know, but these scrunchies are so good. I'll have them linked below for you guys. Boom, so when we do have it, I like to pull my hair apart. Um, if you wanna say, I like to pull it horizontal and then I also like to pull it vertically. That kind of takes away any bumps that it may have. So now I'm gonna take my edge brush and I'm just gonna brush out my little baby hairs, adult hairs, edges whatever you want to call them and that's to each his own like I'm only using two little sides plus my little sideburns if you want to do more you definitely could I just thought this is kind of what goes with this look and I'm just taking a little bit of the sideburns and I don't know why this side never curls properly <laughs> but I will fix it So we're just gonna go ahead and turn our excess hair from our ponytail into a bun. So you just twist it, twist, twist, twist. And go ahead and pat that bad boy down. And I like to just use a simple, thin um, scrunchie for this. Hair tie, whatever you wanna call it. Two times and that's all you need. And boom, we molded. And again, I'm just taking my soft bristle brush and just bless, brushing down any um, flyaways or anything. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the hair. So you have to pick what type of hair you have. I have so many different types of hair. And this is what I mean about you having hair laying around. So it helps you when doing different hairstyles. You see I have brown, I have ombre, curly, straight, good, bad. I mean, I even have this crusty <laughs> blonde <laughs> pack hair. So this is the hair that I'm gonna use um, for the first part of my bun. And I'm just wetting it now. Just bare, just not even damp. This is just like one spray on the front, one spray on the back. I'm gonna use Cantu, which I love using, not a lot. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize that hair. This is synthetic hair, as you guys can see. It's gonna tangle. Um, just gotta kind of work your way through it. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be um, part of the bun that's really just giving us, um, giving us the fullness. We want a full, nice bun. So this is important. You wanna go ahead and double weft your hair and you want to use the beginning part so the two splits where the hair splits you want to use that part and this is very important to use that part where it splits and that's going to be the part that you use to start so you're going to just piece the hair take that piece you see how i kind of pieced like just a little part and then i'm going to use that and wrap it right around that bun sorry right around that bun <clears throat> right around that bun <laughs> and do you want to just get it as close to the bottom as as possible um, you don't need to do it tight you don't need to pull it or anything because it's, it's gonna be secure trust me and you don't need any type of bobby pin um, for this portion 
and then the excess hair you're gonna wrap the opposite way so if you wrapped it clockwise you're gonna wrap the other part counterclockwise and that this is very important too and then boom you have your start my little ponytail so now you find the hair that you want to leave out Ooh, that's some good hair you put both, that's a thick ponytail girl but um this is important <clears throat> excuse me this is important because um this is the part of the hair that's gonna have the curls left out so you want the curls to look nice so now i'm just gonna go ahead and just wrap my hair um well the the hair in a bun doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna wrap some more hair around it this is like i said just giving us that fullness and thickness so same thing just one spray on the front, one spray on the back. Take your can too and moisturize it. I would moisturize this portion just a little bit more because this is what's going to be seen, you know. And for the synthetic hair, if I see something I don't like, I rip it right out. <laughs> You're going to see me rip a portion right out. <laughs> there we go. So same thing, double with the hair, and we're using that part, um, the beginning part where the hair splits. Now we're gonna go and we still wanna stay at the bottom of our bun. And you're just gonna wrap it right around. And remember, if you're going clockwise, you're gonna go counterclockwise the opposite way. So I am using um, a hair clip. So I already did the counterclockwise, but I'm showing you guys this. So you want that bobby pin, if you do it the correct way, the bobby pin will go right into the weft hair. And all you do is put it right in there. So if you wrap it, um, if you use the split, you know, the split part first, you'll have the end and um, it can go right in there and, and it'd be perfect. So now all you're gonna do um, is just decide how much hair you want left out. This is kind of like a tedious trial and error moment. You just have to pick in place how you want your hair. If you want more, if you want less, totally up to you. And I just went ahead and fast forwarded this part because this is just a lot of trial and error. That's cute, I should have left that much hair out, but I didn't. Another tip, when you are placing your hair like where you want your curls to fall, you can use bobby pins. Definitely use bobby pins. If you want your hair more towards the front, you place it where you want and you just use a bobby pin and stick it right in there and it's going to fall however you want it. So I wanted like a really thick um, top knot bun and just a few little curls on the side. That was the look that I was going for. And I just put um, one single uh, ponytail or scrunchie or hair tie. I didn't wrap it around, I just put it in once. And I'm just going in and kind of um, moisturizing the curls so they look good. Like I said, this is synthetic hair, I didn't Put any curls in this i don't even know if this hair could take heat so i was not trying to play but this is the look now on to the finishing touches the baby hairs if you guys don't know from my last video i put water first i mold my edges with the water it just helps me know like what look or how what style i'm going for and then once i get that mold right I go in with what? <laughs> the Eco Style. And I love using Eco Style on my edges because, like I said, it gives it texture. I don't like when edges look just stuck on. This kind of looks like that soft hair look. And if you were to brush it after it kind of dries, it still looks good. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I love it. Let me know what you guys use on your edges, too. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on both sides. Boom. And now I'm just gonna do um, 
my sideburns. And you can put longer or short. I wanted short for this, but I usually be having a lot on the sides. I'm using the same thing, the water and the eco style, and this is the finished look. I hope this look works for you and it was easy and you out there about to go get ready and get slayed, girl. Take photos. Definitely leave me some comments. If you like the video, let me know. Give it a like. If you did like it, subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Love you, Martians.